Do you realize that the difference between mediocre AI outputs and game-changing results often comes down to just one thing? Context. Today I'm going to show you how to build your own master context engine that'll make Gemini produce far better results in far less time. It also works for Claude and ChatGPT. I really wish I would have had this while I was running my marketing agency. We were working with some massive software companies on some really complex projects and this technique alone would have given me and my team a superhuman edge. As usual, I've distilled everything down into a simple step-by-step -step process that you can implement immediately. What used to take me 20 minutes of tedious setup now happens automatically and I'm really excited to show you how you can do this for yourself. When I pivoted away from my marketing agency because of the emergence of AI, I realized something very quickly. While these tools were really powerful, they don't inherently understand your business, your goals, and your vision. And there are a lot of ways to teach AI about this. There's different knowledge bases and knowledge sections where you can upload information. And ChatGPT also allows you to grab information from previous chats. There's also these automatic memory features that seem to be popping up in the different AI tools. But I find that if you really take control of this information, you're gonna have much better results. And in Gemini, this is called the saved info section. So if you click down on this little gear and go into saved info, you can add all sorts of information about yourself here that is all immediately, instantly accessible to uh, Gemini's mind. One trick with this is that if you're using Gemini in some sort of a G Suite setting, so if you're using you know, Gmail and a calendar all related to your specific business name, then I don't believe that this is accessible. When you click here, that uh, saved uh, information does not show up here. This is a personal account and that's where the saved info shows up. So I don't know why that is, some privacy issues. Maybe there's a hack around that. If you know that, drop it in the comments, but you're gonna need just a basic personal account to save this info here. And one other thing I learned the hard way is that each one of these sections needs to be less than 200 words, roughly. So those are the guidelines that are gonna shape how we build this master context engine. I'm jumping right into the cheat sheet. I make a cheat sheet like this for every single video that I create. There are over 130 now instantly available to anybody who joins my Patreon. There's a link in the description to that. There's also some coaching options, so check that out if you are interested. We're gonna be building out this master context engine in various sections. So there's the personal information section, company information section, team information, culture and values, process and protocols. This is a special one that we're going to get to and probably one of the more powerful sections. And then, of course, hobbies and personal life. So starting with this first prompt, I'm just going to grab this and copy and paste this right out of the cheat sheet right into Gemini here. And I'm using the 2.5 flash you don't need to use anything too crazy. You don't need to use you know, some of the reasoning engines. Probably best if you don't. I'm gonna let this run. All this is really saying is let's create a personal information knowledge base for use with AI tools. Ask me about my role, position, and primary responsibilities. And then ask me about top goals and you know, two or three of my personal strengths and weaknesses. That's a really critical part giving it a little context on me. And the idea is that this is the very last time I'm gonna to have to tell an AI what I do, what the name of my YouTube channel is, etc., and that it's gonna just know this stuff going forward and save a ton of time. All right, I've just answered its questions and it has spit out a really cool summary of all this. Now we need to format it in a way where it's gonna fit into the saved info. And for that, we're gonna need this prompt. I'm copying and pasting this here into Gemini. Just asking it to combine all of this into a uh, 200 word or less snippet. And now we're just gonna hop into this saved info section, click on this little gear, saved info. I'm gonna add one and we're copying and pasting that right in. You see how that prompt makes it generate exactly how many words are there. That's very helpful. Dropping that right in here and I'm just gonna add to the top of this personal information. Submit, there we go. Now moving on to company information. This prompt's a little bit different here and this might make things a little bit easier for you where it says, ask me questions one at a time until you have a complete understanding of my company. So rather than it asking you a bunch of questions all at once, you're saying, hey, ask me a question one at a time and then you, as an AI can make the judgment when it has enough information. Awesome, I've just used Gemini to create my company profile here. Now we need to crunch this down to that 200 word maximum using a similar prompt. Grabbing that one here and dropping that in. 
for the concise description. We're gonna add a new saved info here. I'm gonna call this company information. And now I'm gonna do basically the same thing for team details and culture and core values. Make sure not to skip this culture and core values and make sure to focus on kind of your vision and really how you see the world evolving. This can be one of the most powerful sections. All right, awesome. I've gone through that process now for each of those different sections, including creative work and hobbies, relationships, my personal journey and my history. One thing to note when it comes to e your team details is listing the primary KPIs for yourself and your teammates, what they're responsible for. That can really help steer this in the right direction. I've got prompts for all of this here in the cheat sheet, and I even have a custom GPT that just walks you through this. Let me show you how that works. So when you click on this link, this is gonna take you to a custom GPT that I've created that will walk you through every step in that process. So you don't even have to copy and paste those uh, prompts into Gemini. I would have done this in a gym, but unfortunately you can't share the gyms the way that you can share these custom GPTs. And all you gotta do is click let's begin. And it starts with just your position and role, gives you some example ideas of how you might wanna answer these questions and just continuously rolls through this process in a way that helps you to create this master context engine. Now I wanna dive into this special section all related to processes and protocols. So this is a really cool way where you can train the AI to really react the way that you want it to. And this is a very general prompt you can use to start documenting some of your workflows. But I've got a few here in this cheat sheet that you can just directly copy and paste right in there. Let me demonstrate some of these for you. Here's one that I love about just the general AI interaction. And it basically just says, if you need more information from me to improve your responses, do not hesitate to ask me questions one at a time until you have enough information to provide feedback. Please provide options along with your questions whenever possible. So this will stop it from just giving you this laundry list of questions that is just overwhelming. And when it does ask questions, questions, it'll give you these options. Is it A, B, C, or, you know, some feedback so you can just say, yeah, A is best, B is best, or there's these options I didn't think of, or maybe it missed the mark and you can just tell it exactly what you need. So this alone can save you so much time. Let's copy and paste this into the saved info now. And bam, with that alone, we've saved ourselves so many hours. Here's another set of instructions that I find super valuable. This is Ray Dalio's five-step problem solving framework. So if you're familiar with Ray Dalio, he is an incredible decision maker and thinker and copying this into our saved info will help us anytime we use the prompt Dalio five step it's going to walk us through these different questions here and get to the root of the problem design a solution figure out milestones for execution and metrics to know that I'm succeeding so I'm going to pop this right in to the saved info all right, let's test this out. I'm just saying let's do the Dalio five step on how to rebalance my portfolio given the new tariffs. This is so cool because now you can see it interacting with multiple saved info notes where it is uh, hitting that Dalio five step process. It's giving us one question which we've asked for and then it's giving us its um, you know, provisional answer based on everything that it knows about us. Super cool. This cheat sheet is absolutely packed with everything that we've gone over today, including a bunch more of those different instructions like that Dalio five steps. So if this is something you're interested in, definitely check out my Patreon where you get access to this and over 130 other cheat sheets that are all packed with these different prompt sequences that you can convert into saved information and have that right there inside of the brain of uh, Gemini, just like I showed you. There's some coaching options in the Patreon as well. There's a link in the description to that. But a few things to think about before you take off. One is that this is going to require maintenance. This is a living document. So anytime the AI gives you something that you don't like, think about where is that getting that information? How can I update my master context engine to reflect that? And so I never have to deal with whatever that bad result was. Um, you might even want to think about a maintenance schedule. So maybe once a quarter revisiting this stuff. Also, unfortunately, this information does not pass through into your gems. 
Claude is different. I've heard that Claude will, in its Claude projects, will actually access the information that it has saved for you inside of Claude. So if that's a big deal, you might want to check out Claude, although I'm sure Gemini may catch up to that uh, quickly. One other difference with Claude is that you can dump it all in as one giant document and you don't have to segment it into these different sections. However, I thought that was a constraint at first, but now I feel like that's almost a blessing because keeping these separate in my mind is a little easier than thinking of one massive document. Even that 200 word limit is sort of a gift because it helps you kind of really think what's the most important information I need in here and you're not overloading it with information that could be conflicting as well. All right, I'm really excited about this. I hope you are too. Let me know how it goes. Drop me a comment in the comment section. I've got another video all about Gemini Gems. There's a link to that right here. That will take this even farther and give you some ideas for other things you can put into your saved info. I'll see you over there. Make the dream come true.